Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced Okay, for real, y'all stop playing. So, hey, what it do? It's your boo, and I'm back with another review. So, today we got Outre's Airtide Cuban Hair Blend Wig. This is Dominican Curly, 22 inches, and this is a 13 by 6 frontal, okay? So, we're going to go ahead and get into it. Y'all already seen me. I sprayed my lace tint, my Ebon Lace Print. I usually use medium brown, but I used a dark one this time because that's the one I had at my mama house. And then, okay, y'all saw me locking in with that goddamn red can of the Ebon Hose Spray. I said we had never use that again but i'm at my mama house again so that's what i had so yeah we gonna go ahead and get into it this time and y'all see they got two combs in the front one in the back and also with an elastic band y'all know that's my favorite part of the wigs that come with the elastic band i don't be knowing how to act so we gonna go ahead and go get into it i'm gonna I'm keep the plan to a minimum i'm lying i'm gonna play all throughout this whole video okay just pay attention to what i'm doing and less on what i'm saying because i'm probably ain't gonna say that much and i'm gonna explain here and there and i'll be back later bye All right, so y'all already know the drill. Once y'all cut them ear tabs off, y'all peel that muffin cap back blue and cut it in three sections so we can go ahead and lay our lace. So y'all already know this wig cap, y'all. I had to show y'all. This is the HD wig cap. I didn't bought a whole like 24 pack from Amazon, baby. Get this wig cap because okay, y'all see how y'all see through that thing? It don't even look like nothing there. Period. Now to this raggedy ass hose spray. I told y'all not to get the red can, and now here I am with the red can. So we gonna go in with three layers this time. So we go spray that thing, wait till that thing get tacky, and when I say tacky, I mean that it's sticking to your finger. So we go test it and make sure it's sticking to our finger. Then when it's sticking to our finger, we spray another layer. Then we go make sure that get tacky as well, stick to our finger again. Then we go spray another layer again. Okay. Now watch with y'all eyes, cause I just explained it to y'all. Y'all don't need me to no more. Okay. Bye.
I'm sorry. I'm going to let y'all finish. But do y'all see how that lace is disappearing into my skin? That's I definitely just created a new scalp. Definitely just created a new scalp. Dio dance, babe. Yeah. 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 Hold on. Look at that again. Okay. Period. Put it behind the ear. Yeah. Y'all see how that lace disappearing. Okay. I just wanted to say that. Bye. Alright, so boom, y'all. Y'all see that plucking. Y'all see that. So I do think I did overpluck this wig a little bit. I wish I would have shown y'all what it looked like straight out the pack because it really was a pre-plucked already. It was pretty um pretty nice when I took it out the pack. But you know me, I just like to customize and practice. I think I'm almost ready, y'all almost ready to show y'all my plucking um method um i feel like i had to try a whole bunch of new methods just to make sure i got the right one and although i did feel like i over plucked this one but it still looks natural and y'all this how much i plucked so wait i got the little cap in here so let me go ahead and take that out but y'all this how much i plucked y'all it wasn't even that much it wasn't even that much it was really just that little bit so now we just go ahead and take the excess lace off i'll be doing this with eyebrow razor and i'll be doing it real jagged like because i feel like when the more jagged it is the more it just be invisible you can't even see where it's at and y'all can see my waist cap my mm, my wig cap on um through the lace which i didn't like so i did end up taking my wig cap off but not in a video of course but hopefully i did put some pictures in here to show y'all what it looked like so i can like blend that in because i feel like my wig cap was showing under my lace because i did over pluck it just a little bit but other than that it's doing what it needs to do. I'm gonna go ahead and be quiet at y'all finish. Bye.
all right so boom y'all if you made it to the end of the video i'm just taking some mousse and putting that on my edges just to lay it down i did um see that using a foamy mousse rather than a water-based mousse does lay my edges a lot better without lifting lifting the lace so i would suggest using that don't get me wrong i love my lot of body but the foamy mousse just helps a lot more so you already know we'll go in with our lashes put our lashes on the look is not complete without the lashes now let's get into the wig baby when i tell y'all this wig is a 10 out of 10 it's a 10 out of 10 the density is perfect it's not too thick and it's not too thin still gives you that fullness the lace is definitely lacing hd lace for sure super thin lace but i do suggest using some type of weight lace tint or like uh makeup or anything because it does get a little ashy and the tangliness i mean it's a curly hair wig you shouldn't be running your fingers through this hair anyway the tangliness i would scale it like a 7 out of 10 it's not like super tangly but you do got a little, little muscle to separate the curls now the price point on this wig is was a little pricey this wig was like 70 dollars off amazon but again in its defense it is a human hair blend okay so it's not just synthetic fibers you feel me so you know see y'all next week like comment subscribe bye